Hi, welcome to Online for Love, your resource for online dating by the numbers. I'm Amy, your online dating expert. I've been reviewing and comparing dating sites for the past five years, and today I'm going to be going over the top seven tips for men and women to make an amazing online dating profile. When it comes to online dating, your profile is everything. Your profile can make or break your luck when it comes to getting matches and meeting potential lovers. If you've ever used any online dating websites or apps, you may have actually come across some not ideal dating profiles yourself. Some of them maybe seem boring, some of them are strange, Um, so you really want to avoid having a bad profile when you're online dating. The problem is oftentimes people don't even know that their profile is bad or that it could be better. Sometimes it's hard to know where to start, what should you look out for, what should you keep in mind when making a dating profile. So that's why we at Online for Love have created the top seven tips on how to make a good profile. Before we dive right in though, are you actually sure which dating site you want to make a good profile on? I have to recommend our quiz at Online for Love, our free quiz for men and women. It decides your best online dating site, the dating site that will work best for you. So definitely click that link in the description, take the quiz, find out your best dating site, then come back and watch the rest of this video. So let's start off by talking about our number one tip on how to create a great profile for online dating and that is get good pictures. Photos are probably the most important thing when it comes to your online dating profile for many reasons. One of the biggest ones though is it just shows that you're an actual real person. Catfishing and fake profiles are a real problem that plagues so many people in so many online dating sites. So if you actually have photos of yourself and they're clearly real photos or they seem real, you just have a better chance because you seem like a real person. No one wants to talk to a robot or a fake profile. So just that step alone is so helpful. Photos are also important because when you're dating, I mean, you want to know what that person looks like. I mean, regardless of how important you think looks are, you still want to know what they look like. You want to know what you you know who you're going to meet up with, if they are who they say they are. And photos really show your personality and who you are, you know? And you can have photos of yourself doing some of your favorite things or, I don't know, wearing your favorite clothes. It really give off a sense of who you are. And without them, it's kind of hard to attach yourself to that person you're chatting to because you don't really have a clear picture of who it is you're talking to. Another important reason to have photos is that without posting photos to your online dating profile, you get so much less matches. It's just statistics. People without photos get like three times less matches than those with photos. So those are the reasons why you should have photos in general on your online dating profile, but now I'm going to give you some tips on how to make those those pictures extra good. The first tip is to make sure that your photos are up to date. If your photos were taken in 2012 or like at your senior prom, it's time to update them. Uh, you, You know, it's not showing who you actually look like, it's not showing what you are now, and most likely those old photos are bad quality. You need to have up to date photos within the last year that you took them. Otherwise, it's just not really accurate, is it? Going off of that, our second tip is to make sure that your photo is actually good quality. You don't want to have a super grainy uh, photograph. You don't want to have one that looks like it was taken on a Nokia phone in like the belly of a dinosaur or something. You need to have somewhat good quality. You don't have to go to a professional photographer necessarily, but you know, iPhones nowadays have really good quality pictures. And sometimes if like you grab a photo, for example, off of Facebook, the quality of the photo was really down downgraded to the point where it looks blurry. So try to get like the original photo off of um, like Google Photos or your Google Drive or something or, or your photos on your phone. That way it doesn't have that grainy blurriness that just makes it look bad. The next tip is that you should have photos that really give off a sense of who you are. They should show your personality. It would be awesome if you had some photos of you doing your hobbies or maybe you in some of your favorite places, eating some of your favorite food. You know, some of the best photos are like people when they're, they're hiking or they're at an ice cream place or they're by the beach that they love or I don't know they're surfing or they're doing whatever it is they like to do because you really get a sense of personality from that rather than just all selfies because you can't really learn too much about a person just off of that. Our next tip for photos is that you should look fun and approachable. You shouldn't look too miserable or sad or like you don't want to be there. Uh, You basically want to seem like someone who somebody else would want to get to know. So you could have maybe a pouty picture on there or something, but definitely try to have some smiling, being you, being in a good mood, looking approachable. And my last tip for your online dating profile photos is to make sure that they are attracting the type of person you want to attract and that they're tasteful. You kind of want to think about the kind of person that you want to meet and if the photos reflect that. You know, you don't want to post a photo of you fishing because you think somebody would like that but you really don't like to fish. (laughs) Does that make sense? Post ones that are true to you, that are tasteful, and that 
um, really reflect the type of person that you're looking for. Sometimes it can be difficult to get great photos of yourself, but what's really easy is to give a like on this video. If you thumbs up this video, it really helps us out because it pushes this video out to more people from the YouTube algorithm. So definitely give this video a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Moving on to our second tip for a great online dating profile, and that is to share just enough about yourself. So when people first read your profile, they kind of want a quick, like too long didn't read about yourself. So you should talk about a little bit about who you are, what you like, you don't like what you're looking for, definitely that's a big help. You don't want to brag, but it could be a good time to share some really interesting and cool things about yourself. You know, talk yourself up just enough. Don't don't go to the point of, of being boastful, but you want to kind of sell yourself in a way. You want yourself to come off as attractive. So don't be afraid to, you know, toot your horn just a little bit. One big tip I have for writing your bio is to try to make things a little bit creative and fun. Nobody wants to read an essay about somebody else and, uh, you know, you want to stand out from the crowd. Any Anybody can say that they're fun and interesting, but it'd be great if you could think of some ways, some creative ways to show that about yourself. Maybe, you know, jot down a quick, really interesting thing that you've done rather than say, I'm interesting, or think of something funny to write a joke or, um, I don't know, some, some funny little thing to write rather than just say, I'm funny. I just want to let you know, by the way, that what can be really helpful for making your online dating profile besides this video is we actually have a free online dating guide for both men and women at Online for Love. So if you click the link in the description, it'll take you to our free online dating profile guide. This is going to give you so many more tips and tricks on how to create perfect online dating profiles. So once you're done this video, that's a great other resource to check out. Just had to let you know. And our third tip is to not share too much. This is a perfect example of, you know, there being two sides of the coin. You want to share just enough about yourself, but there is a point where it's just oversharing. Like I mentioned, you don't want to feel like you're reading an essay, like checking out this person's profile is like a piece of homework you have to, you have to do. You don't want it to drag on and you don't want to share too much that like you actually put people off of you. Let's get into some tips I have to avoid this. So one is don't say anything that could be better explained in person or over the phone. Some things um, that you could say might come off as harsh or confusing or might be taken the wrong way if they're, they could be seen as extreme. Don't say anything that takes a lot of explaining to understand. Save that for when you meet them. The next tip is to don't be overly pessimistic or say too many negative things in your bio. It's great to be clear about your likes and dislikes, but at a certain point, it comes off as very abrasive, maybe even mean-spirited to, you know, make a list or have these harsh demands written in your bio about what you want and don't want out of a partner. Again, it's good to be clear, but sometimes you come off as a really negative person. You know, it's great to have standards, but also you must be realistic and, you know, don't be, uh, don't put your box too small for the type of person you want either because you know you might be turning away a lot of people by having a long list of demands who might actually be good for you another tip is to leave out intimate details of your life you don't need to explain your whole life story um, on your bio leave some info and some intrigue for you to talk about at a later time with somebody and there is such a thing as tmi sometimes it's just too much information so sometimes it's good to tone it down a bit another tip is it's fine to include religion and politics if they are very important to you if you do need to bring them up though be sensitive with your words and don't be tacky religion and politics and really touchy subjects like that your stance on controversial laws or topics happening in the world right now it's honestly best to avoid those unless they are something that's very important in your life and uh, they need to be said otherwise it's best to leave those out but again if you are going to say them just do it in a respectful way our fourth tip is to make sure that you keep your dating profile regularly updated. You don't want to be using the same info and everything about yourself that you wrote years and years ago. You change, times change, it's time to keep your profile updated because otherwise, you know, maybe you hold a belief back then that you don't hold anymore or vice versa and you could attract the wrong type of person because they're attracted to who you were and not who you are now. Just like we mentioned with your pictures, you should always keep those updated. Your info, your hobbies, your likes, dislikes, personality, that should be kept updated as well because we're always changing all the time. So keep it updated. A tip that we have is that you don't actually have to keep rewriting and rewriting your bio, but just to add edits of new things that you're into or just delete stuff that you're not into. Um, but you don't have to, you know, always rewrite the whole thing. If you have a good thing going, then keep it. Just make sure that some details are updated or getting you're getting rid of them as time goes on. Our fifth tip is to be honest and upfront. So you don't want to mislead people when you're online dating. You know, if you have a very serious 
part of your life like you have children and you only want to date people who also have children and who also want children but you never say that anywhere on your profile and um, maybe you don't say it for a long time with them it's just bad all across the board you're not going to get somebody who's really good for you because they don't know who you really are or those important things that really should have been mentioned from the get-go maybe you are polygamous and uh, you don't state that anywhere, and you never tell a person, but they're monogamous, you know, it could just clash, cause a lot of issues, and it's really unnecessary, it doesn't have to be that way. If something's very important in your life, and you're looking for something in somebody else, and if they don't have it, it's a deal breaker, it's best just to state it. A tip we have for this, by the way, is to actually first make sure that you're on the right dating app or site to begin with. If you're looking for something very specific or you have very specific needs or a very specific lifestyle that you only want to match with people who are similar to you, then using the right dating site will make a huge difference and maybe you don't have to necessarily make sure you write it in your bio because the site is geared towards that. Like, if you want somebody who is a farmer, you could go farmersonly.com or use like a cowboy farmer dating site. So if you haven't already taken our online dating quiz that's free for men and women, um, which pairs you with the best online dating site for you, it might be a good idea to take it after this video or before you go back to dating online because it could save yourself a headache. But yeah, definitely honesty is the best policy. Being upfront with people is just going to relieve any friction that might happen. You'll both be on the same page, you'll both be happy, and that's one hurdle you won't have to deal with later. Our sixth tip is to be consistent across the board. You might be on multiple dating sites and that's totally fine because different sites cater to different types of people but if you are you know be you on each of them maybe you are on a farmer's dating site it doesn't mean you that you should change your personality to fit what you think somebody else might be looking for just be you because if you um, pretend to be somebody different or you're inconsistent with your personality it's not going to come off well and you're going to have a harder time finding somebody who's a real match for you so be consistent be yourself so our seventh and final tip on how to create a perfect online dating profile is to not seem desperate. People are attracted to confidence, to people who have faith in themselves, and people who are just being themselves. You don't need to put in your online dating profile that you're like desperate for a date, that, I don't know, you using desperate language. It makes you seem like you don't value yourself very much and that you have low self-esteem. That's not the way you want to come across. I mean, first off, you should work on that and you should build yourself up to have confidence and have faith that, you know, you're yourself somebody is out there for you and that'll happen eventually so you should hopefully work on that yourself so that you truly are confident and then hopefully with that you won't have to come across as not confident on your dating profiles the best way to go about online dating is to just let the communication flow freely and naturally and that is how you will find your matches so of course our number one tip is to try to build yourself up and have confidence you will find a match eventually just have faith in yourself and be honest and authentic so those are our top tips on how to create a really great online dating profile hopefully it helps you out and I'm curious what are some things that you like to see when you're online dating and other people's profile or what has worked for you on your own profile definitely leave your own tips down below in the comments we'd love to hear from you and that yeah, thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit subscribe if you loved it hopefully we'll see you here again thanks bye